Lewis Hamilton could face substantial penalties if he doesn't remove his permanent jewellery by the time we go to Monaco. The Monaco Grand Prix is set to take place two weeks from now, on May 27th to May 29th. But media reports have speculated that Hamilton could face a race ban at this event if he continues to disobey the rules. The drama started to unfold at the Australian Grand Prix before gaining momentum in Miami. Hamilton, along with other drivers, were told to remove all jewellery before they entered the car's cockpit, as stated in the FIA's International Sporting Code. The rule that was introduced in 2005, but rarely ever enforced, states the wearing of jewellery in the form of body piercing or metal neck chains is prohibited during the competition and may therefore be checked before the start. But Hamilton, who has raced throughout his career wearing jewellery, is less than impressed with the rule renewal. In a press conference for the Miami Grand Prix, Hamilton said, I've been in the sport for 16 years. I've been wearing jewellery for 16 years. In the car, I only ever have my earrings on and my nose ring, which I can't even remove. Hamilton added that he would try to communicate with the new FIA president, Mohammed Ben Sulliam. Hamilton added, I'm here to be an ally of the sport, of Mohammed and Formula One. But Hamilton is not the only F1 driver to complain about the updated sporting regulation. Haas driver Kevin Magnussen said he'd rather take a little extra burn if it meant he could continue to wear his wedding ring while driving. And Pierre Gasly, who wears a cross around his neck for religious reasons, said he'd feel uncomfortable if he drove without it. During the Miami Grand Prix, Hamilton removed the majority of his jewellery. However, he said that he couldn't remove two pieces, including a nose piercing, as they were permanent. In response, the FIA gave Hamilton a grace period, which means that he has until the Monaco Grand Prix to remove his permanent items. Media reports have stated that this punishment could be in the form of a race ban, and Hamilton himself has addressed this. He said, if they stop me, then so be it. We've got a spare driver. But how likely is it that Hamilton would be banned from racing? Well, the jewellery rule is now considered as part of the technical inspection that the FIA conduct before every Grand Prix. If a driver was therefore found to be wearing jewellery, their entry could be deemed illegal. Usually, a breach in these regulations would result in a race ban. However, it's unlikely that the FAA's sanctions would go that far. In Formula E, two drivers were given a penalty point on their super license after they were found to be wearing metal chains on their necks after a qualifying session. They were also given a thousand euro suspended fine. And the new FIA president himself has addressed Hamilton's refusal. He said, there are fines that apply. It's like if someone speeds on the roads. You can't stop them from doing it, but they get fined, even if it was accidental. You can't let people off because they are your friends. There has to be one rule for all, and that's that. Do you think Hamilton and other Formula One drivers should have to remove all their jewellery before they race? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. As always, if you've enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for more content in the future. Until next time.